Oh, Lady Celis, I'm so glad to see that you're all right. Tokunaga, I'm sorry for worrying you. Tokunaga, Sebastian, see Celis to her bed. Yes, sir. Um, Emil, my brother told me everything. I would be honored to give you Glaucius's core. Good luck on your quest. Thank you. Man, this thing just gets worse and worse. The Silveront Dynasty, huh? I've no idea what went on in Silveront back when the worlds were still separated. But the Vanguard is dead set on getting revenge on the Church of Martell. Were they planning on using Ratatusk's core to restore the dynasty? Yes. They want to use it to destroy the Church of Martell, and the Tetha Allen royal family as well. Ratatusk's core can do that? They plan on using it for some weapon called a mana cannon. No way! Sheena, you've heard of it? Yes, I've used one before. If left in the wrong hands, it could destroy the entire world. I'll need to inform the church officials and His Majesty about this. I'll head back to Isalia to tell everyone there. Is there any way we can get word to Professor Sage? Leave that up to my Mizuho scouts. They'll find her and let her know. Emil, what are you going to do next? I'll go after the rest of the cores with Marta. That way we'll free Ratatosk and also stop the Vanguard from using the Mana Cannon. Right, Marta? Right. Then I shall continue to accompany you. I don't pretend to understand what Lloyd is thinking, but perhaps I could be of help the next time you face him. Good idea. I'm going too. What I know about the Mana Cannon might come in handy. And I can't throw my support to Lloyd until I know what he's about. Count me out. I'm sure Lloyd has his reasons. He would never do anything to put the world in danger. So I'm going after Lloyd. I feel the same way as Elos. I trust Lloyd no matter what. I want to find him and help him. I wish you two luck. Well, I suppose we won't see each other for a while. Yeah. Take care. Everyone, stay safe. Zelos, Colette, thank you. I'm so sorry. This is all my father's fault. A child shouldn't have to apologize for what their parents do. Cheer up, Marta. Well then, shall we? Yeah. Now then, time to hunt for more Centurion's cores. Indeed. The Temple of Earth isn't too far from here. Earth? That would mean... In theory, it would mean we should find Solem's core. What's the matter, Tenebrae? You don't sound too sure. No, it's just... Recently, whenever we've been close to the Vanguard, I've felt the presence of Solem's core. So they already have it? I cannot be certain. But Solom's specialty is his ability to deceive his enemies. It could be connected to the effortless transformations of that foul-smelling man. You think Dex is using the core? But wait, wouldn't you have sensed Solom's presence if he was? I'm afraid that his ode to seduction interferes with my senses too much for me to tell. Well, if we go to the Temple of Earth, we'll know for sure, right? Indeed. No use standing around discussing it. Let's head to the Temple. Right.
Solom's core may not be here after all. Oh yeah, the Vanguard might have it. Do you know Marta? No, I'm sorry. Ever since Daddy started to change, I've been avoiding him, so... Hey, don't sweat it. Worrying about it won't help us now. Besides, things should clear up once we get to the Temple of Earth, right? That's right. Let's hurry. limits why did something happen it's all those earthquakes we've been having the inside of the temple collapsed it's a mess in there so we can't go inside nope don't think anyone's gonna be able to before they finish repairs what should we do well we could head to the temple of lightning in the meantime a summon spirit used to be there so the core could be as well right Perhaps. By the way, why don't we hatch Glockius' core before we set out again? Oh, good idea! I almost forgot about it. We haven't touched it since we got it. Now Glockius has awoken too. That's good. Perhaps he's simply exhausted from everything that's happened. You may be right. Let's take him back to town. Emil, what's wrong? Marta, it's you. You're the other Emil, aren't you? You can tell? Oh yeah, you didn't want me around. It's just, ever since what happened, you only showed yourself when we were in battle, so I was worried about you. You were? Come to think of it, you did stand up for me. Huh? Marta, do you need me? Of course! You're a meal too! So you don't mind if I show up again? Of course not. Thank you. Huh? Marta, what just happened? What do you mean? We were talking. Really? I'm sorry, it's nothing. My mistake. Oh, okay. You should get some more rest. Yeah, I'll do that. Good night, Marta. Mm, good night. Emil, what's happening to you? This is a restricted area. No one is allowed to enter. A restricted area? But why? None of your business. Now go! Marta, are you okay? What are you doing? 
Excuse me, but if you would just listen to it. Shut up, kid. Get out of here. Uh, Emil! Stop, that's enough. Damn it. That's why I can't let you handle anything. Hmm? What are you mumbling about? Nobody lays a hand on Marta! Wait, Emil! Please don't hurt them! Why not? This fool just attacked you! We need their help, Emil! So we can get inside the temple! Then it won't be a problem if we kill them all! Emil, you're in Ratatosk mode again. Pull yourself together. You've got to calm down and return to your normal self. My normal self can't keep Marta safe! Acting like this won't keep Marta safe either, will it, Emil? What? Just put your blade away. Provoking unnecessary hostilities isn't going to help our cause. What's going on here? Director Schneider! Uh, these people were trying to force their way into the temple! It's all right. This is only a simple misunderstanding. We were just wondering why this area has been sealed off. Oh, you're Duke Bryant, aren't you? Duke Bryant? You mean the president of the Lesoreno Company? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you should have said so in the first place. We're glad to help the president of such a fine establishment. I must apologize for this unfortunately rude welcome. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Schneider, the director of Cybax Imperial Research Academy. Recently, the Temple of Lightning has become quite dangerous. We've restricted access to only those who have permission from the Academy. Oh, really? But why? What happened here? We really need to get inside. It's very urgent. Well, I can make some exceptions as long as your cause is justified. Once I've finished my work, I'll be glad to hear you out. Perhaps you could wait for me at the Imperial Research Academy until then. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Yes, thank you. Emil, any objections? <gasps> you... you're... What? What's wrong with you? What's with the stupid expression? Do you know Emil? Emil? Of course, that's impossible. There's no way it could be him. What is it? Does he remind you of someone? <laughs> no, it's nothing. Please disregard my comment. Now, if you'll excuse me. I wonder who you remind him of. <laughs> who cares? How the hell would I know? Well, anyway... Why are you always so aggressive when you're in Ratatosk mode? Who do those jerks think they are? I heard the Church of Martell was up to no good. Looks like the rumors were true. What the hell is Zelos thinking? The appeal of the Chosen has dropped sharply since the system that supported his status was abolished. Putting all the blame on the Chosen is unfair. And Silveron's Church of Martell is completely controlled by the Church in Tetha'ala. <laughs> Sounds like the Church of Martell's days are numbered. It would be difficult to imagine otherwise. Here, eat. D did you make this? Yeah. Something wrong? No, it just looks a bit... Different. 
I believe rough might be the word you're looking for. You always did things like carve the apples into rabbit shapes or shave carrots into flower petals. Who the hell bothers with stuff like that? But, I mean, is this edible? I'll throw it out if you don't want it. No, oh, sorry. I'm going to eat it. Huh? It tastes just as good as the food you usually make. My. Though comparable in appearance to the disturbing products of Lady Marta's cooking, it would seem the flavor is perfectly fine. Hey, watch it! where the Imperial Research Academy is. We've been there before. It's towards the far end of town. With Lloyd? Yes, that's right. All right, let's head to the Imperial Research Academy and wait for Director Schneider to return. Okay. Why do they all look so pale? <laughs> well, yeah. This town's packed to the gills with bookworms and eggheads. So they're the complete opposite of you? Well, excuse me. And what about you, huh? <laughs> I'm in the same boat. Looks like you both could stand a bit of polish at the hands of Professor Sage. <laughs> Better hope her ruin mode disease isn't contagious. Like you're one to talk.
You're Aster! You're alive! See, I told you not to get all buddy-buddy with that half-elf. Who are you? And who the hell is Aster? You're Aster! They said you died while looking for that summon spirit, Ratatosk. Hold on, did you say Ratatosk? You're researching Ratatosk here? Huh? Are you a friend of Aster's? His name is Emil. He's not Aster. Settle down, everyone. I am Regal Bryant. Director Schneider instructed us to wait for him here. Duke Bryant! My, my apologies. The director is currently out in the field. Yes, I'm aware. Oh, oh right, of, of course. Please come inside. The director's room is on the second floor. This is the last room back. Thank you. I wonder who this Aster guy is and if he really looks like Emil. Who knows? It sounds like they're still holding on to that same old half-elf bigotry. I can't say I like that. It is difficult for people to change. Prejudice against half-elves has been around for over 4,000 years. It'll be a while before it starts to fade. I guess you're right, but still. I wouldn't be surprised if they were still locking half-elves up in the basement and forcing them to do research. They actually did something like that? Perhaps we should stop by the basement and check. You mean, go where half-elves might be? I don't believe it, you too? You're friends with Rain and Genus, aren't you? Yes, you're right. Feeling afraid like this, it isn't fair to Rain or Genus. I'm sorry. Well then, shall we?